Hi, my name is Peach and welcome back to a really quick Milograph Monday. Today we are making this follower text animation. To start off, we're going to have our fusion composition right here and we're going to go into fusion. The first thing we're going to add is a background node and connect it to our media out. We're going to turn off the alpha. Next thing we're going to do is grab a text node from the toolbar up here and connect it to our background node just like this. Then we're going to change the text to however we like to style it. I'm just going to do that and I'm going to change the font to Gotham. Gotham Black and then scale it up a bit. Once our text is the way we want it, then we're gonna add the follower modifier. Essentially what the follower modifier does is that it takes whatever adjustments you do to a letter on the text and it delays it for each letter individually. In order to activate the follower modifier, we're gonna go next to the text box and right click the space and go down to the follower modifier. Once it is applied, you can go to the modifier tab at the top, click it and you can see you're in the follower tab. What we can do here is delay the text. I'm gonna delay it about one to 1.25 frames, something like that. And then we can go to the shading tab and adjust any movement or animations that we want. I'm going to adjust the X and Y position of this text. So what I'm going to do is go to shading, go down to position, and go to the offset. In order to use offset, we actually need to right click it and go down to modify width and X, Y path. Now here, this is where we can do our animation. I'm going to adjust the Y position. So I'm going to turn off the X keyframe and we're just going to go about 24 frames forward. We want the text to end here, so go back to our first keyframe and go down, move this text downwards. And if we play it back, as you can see, it follows the animation path. So what we can do is go to our spline graph and adjust it like this. Highlight these keyframes, hit S on your keyboard, and let's move the curve as it goes up like that. And you can see there's a little stutter at the end of your animation. The way to fix this is that we actually have to keyframe past it, our animation, just like this, and there will be no stutter. I want the text to actually have a bobbing animation, so what I'm going to do is adjust this curve so it goes like this instead. There we go. What I'm also going to add to this text is a rotation, so I'm going to go back to a follower tab that we have here. And I'll actually go down to rotation and shading, and we can mess with the Z rotation right here. So our text animation ends at 24 frames. So we're gonna keyframe at 24 frames and at the beginning of our clip. Keyframe there, and let's just adjust this to a negative 90 degrees. Let's play it back. We have something like that. Now let's go to our spline tab and adjust the spline for the angle Z. Just like that and let's do a similar animation as we did to the other one something like that and then we're also going to keyframe far beyond where the last animation is it goes like that and now we have our animation if you have any more questions or requests on what should do in the future please comment them down below if you'd like to join the resolve amv community discord there's a link in the description as well as a link to my own discord server if you'd like to join and with that subscribe and have a good day